we talked about three types of analytics we'll uh, look at uh, three examples descriptive insights when are people born in the us this is a question we were uh, grappling with we wanted to understand uh, is there is is it completely distributed throughout the year or not we had 25 years of data we cre- created this visual uh, with the data so you have the months laid out uh, across the rows jan to december and you have the uh, days of the month first to the, to the 31st high number of births is a dark shaded cell lower births is a, a closer to white what do you notice here most births seem to happen between july and september uh, september actually has a very high uh, birth rate you can see the the shades cons- uh, consistently dark so you can conclude that conceptions might happen here during the holiday season but there are few other patterns all, which also stand out for instance very few births in these two patches this is happens to be the thanksgiving holidays and the christmas holidays so we were curious and then uh, we were wondering how can you actually push the birth dates out and then we found out that the majority of births in the us are c section so um, the health professionals don't want to spoil the holidays and they are able to move these slightly as much as possible out of this vacation window and it's not just the health professionals it's also parents they don't want their kids born on april fools day so they move it out of april 1st you see the patch here it's lighter patch or they don't want them born on 13th of any month you can see again this is lighter but 14th valentine's day seems to be popular so this is the pattern for us we were curious how does it look for india where we had a treasure trove of public data this is what the pattern uh, for india so you can see here it's completely different what do you notice a lot of births very few births in the second half of the year a lot of births in the first half now we went about asking the second question why are the births so skewed so now we are getting into the why question which is diagnostic analytics or diagnostic insights this is the second advanced level of analytics so here we do fraud analytics so we started seeing a few patterns if you look at the 5th 10th or 15th the round number dates there is a striking back birth pattern where the high number of births on these dates uh, it's unmissable and um, statistics says that when you notice patterns like this there is an external influence it cannot be natural random data so we knew that something was happening behind the scenes and then when we investigated further we found out that uh, this is actually related to the school system in india school starts in june any kid born in the second half of the year misses school so the parents uh, move the birth date artificially until a few years back it was easy to change the date in the records so they move it after the kid is born they move the birth date to the start of the year so that the kid doesn't lose a year or close to a year um, of school so that's what you see here happening and um, this again is where you see the doctored birth dates coming in data can reveal a lot and we are talking about simple visuals and simple statistics so that's diagnostic analytics now let's get into predictive analytics what can we use uh data and analytics to find out what is likely to happen next week or next month so i'll sh- i'll walk through a, a live example so we're working with a cargo carrier the challenge they were facing was from the time flights land um how much time do they take to move the cargo from the uh, airport to the warehouse so they had a sla of one and a half hours they wanted to find out what was causing the delay and what actions can they take to improve it so is it the shift or morning shift or evening shift taking more time you can see that the color coding green means it is doing well uh, closer to red it's not doing well you can see that morning shifts are not doing well particularly friday mornings and anything which is zdh on a friday morning zdh is fragile category any fragile item shipped on a friday is taking time and any fragile item which is part shipped less than 20% takes the most time to handle so now with uh, visual analytics you've identified the root cause what do you do about it if i increase the number of trained staff from 5 to 6 or 7 what happens this is where simulation and predictive analytics kicks in now it says assuming i have seven people how much time would it take on a friday morning or to handle fragile items and then it comes up with certain recommendations and says by the way when you have seven people most of these flows turn green 
So you check whether this is an acceptable level to meet your SLA and you move on. So this is where, this is an example of predictive analytics.